Alright guys, Josh here, also known as Mighty Predator King, and today we're going to take a look at the Bat Jet. This is part of the Dark Knight collection, which was based on the first Michael Keaton film. And this is one of those vehicles that never actually appeared in the movie, but Kenner thought they'd capitalize on the popularity of the film and, you know, make a few extra vehicles and figures for the kids. Uh, now, if you're an adult collector and only want to collect things from the actual movie, then this isn't something that's absolutely necessary. Uh, before we get into the vehicle itself, I did want to kind of show off the box because even though it was made in 1990, uh, it does have that 80s style box art that I absolutely love. So you have the animation style of the Bat Jet here with the figure inside. Uh, it says figure sold separately, so if you are looking to buy this Bat Jet for yourself, just know that it doesn't come with a figure. Uh, we'll show what one looks like in the cockpit or, uh, here in a little bit. Uh, the thing I love the most is you have the picture of Michael Keaton here, which in my opinion is the best Batman. Uh, then you have pretty much the vehicle and some of the gimmicks. Uh, same thing here on the sides. And then you have the little action features, which we will go over even... Uh, are we going to call opening the cockpit an action feature? We'll, we'll go ahead and go with it. And then you have a few of the other vehicles that are in the line. The Bat Cycle, the Bat Helicopter or Bat Copter, and the Joker Cycle. N none of these were appeared in the movie. So, um, But I did have this Bat Copter, which I'll probably have to rebuy it. Just like I did this, because I was the, the oldest of three boys and even if I took great care of my toys they eventually worked their way down to my middle and my youngest brother which they were pretty much destroyed from that point on so uh, but I did have to rebuy this I couldn't find it but I knew it would be in bad condition because I know this would be missing the cockpit would probably be gone uh, this right here I, I think we used this as an axe one time to try to stab each other with it so um, we are kind of violent to each other, but uh, take a look at the 360 of this Bat Jet here. So uh, it's got a few stickers on it and some nice detail or some molded detail here, but really not a whole lot to make it just kind of pop. Uh, like I said, you know, it's got some stickers here. I think it only came with like 12 stickers that you could apply, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you have some kind of nice edging um, here on the cockpit, so which is kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get him opened up, and this is Blast Shield Batman, so we'll take a look at him and some of his action feature things uh, in another review. And then we get into the cockpit, which you have these five stickers. Uh, it, it's not the greatest cockpit, but it will fit your Batman in there. It's definitely not the worst that I've ever seen. So there is one action feature. Second is you can press this button right here and shoot that. And, oh my god, where did it go? There it is. Earlier I shot and it bounced and hit the camera and knocked it off. I had to start this over. Uh, the other one is there is a button right down here. And like you already saw is it can go into its glide mode. Now it's a jet so I have no idea why it would need to glide. But uh, if you were you know, a friend that ever came over whenever we were growing up with me and my two brothers, this was also known as a battle axe. So uh, there it is a little 360 of it. And it kind of looks like the Captain Power Phantom Striker. Uh, I have I don't know where that I put that, but I would show you. But I do have a video of that, so if you want to kind of look at that, you can see. But it's it's pretty much the exact same thing, in my opinion. But there is the Bat Jet from 1990, uh, part of the Dark Knight collection. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it was a nice little stroll down memory lane, and I'll talk to you guys later.